Hello everyone, Sir Durfington again. And welcome. You have to... such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. And this is the Walking Dead. Part three. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, huh? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. That's what How did you saying. handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then, I can't take away the things we, the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Alright. So. La to do to that. And that was kind of depressing. Hey there. Kenny, how you doing? Kenny. Thank you, Kenny! How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled on her. Whoops. <laughs> we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Well, there. I didn't even notice that was up. Maybe you guys didn't hear me at all. Walking Dead. Part 3. So, Durpington, how y'all doing? Uh, need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? <laughs> what do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe. I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe, sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. Very good point. I'll keep that in mind. This is a very dialogue heavy game. Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I was just about to say that. Special fisherman catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Oh, that's interesting. So, I was kind of right. The fisherman, which is uh, similar to a uh, little bit of a redneck. Move this camera at all? Oh, this controls are okay. There we go. See now. Anybody else? Ah, there they are. Let's go talk to them. Awesome person. Let's go talk to the people. Doctor. Look at Duck. Look at Sean. Anybody else I can talk to besides them? Look at that. And that. Time to go talk to the people. Talk to the people. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. <laughs> Ah, 
Hi, Duck. Let's talk to Duck. Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Yeah, <laughs> you don't lift with your back. Let's talk to Let's say hi to Sean over here. still working on that fence. Yeah, you don't say. Let's talk to Sean. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. That should be easy enough. Even with a handsaw. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Boom! Headshot! Shit, Dan. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do yes. Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Twice. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. That's How not true. Here? Well, not How's entirely. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh, man, I hope so, too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Yeah, I was just about to say, that's more than two of them. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want to go to the barn. Uh, some spit up through the back of my nose, up into my nose. Back of my throat, into my nose. Uh. Hey, Lee. I'm gonna go uh, check on the others. Whatever you want, man. Yeah, that's annoying. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. You shouldn't be messing with them. That uh, gear shift. He's gonna hurt somebody. should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. <laughs> Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Yeah, I do. Up to? Yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. With a hammer. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, when I start checking the attitude, friend. What attitude? Oh no! Go! I'll get my gun! Oh, 
Help Duck! Sorry, sir. Gotta save the children first. I do think I could open both. Or else you just saw someone else get shot. Ride to make it if you want it. I like Kenny. Don't like the old man so much. The hell did that kid start the tractor anyway? as far as we're going and it's far enough hmm sale drugs oh they're in Macon aren't they that's their that's the family drugstore hey there you friendly trucks run out of gas uh, nope, not friendly. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, good shot. Quickly, into the drugstore. You can get high before you die. Oh dear. Does anyone know the combination of that lock? We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. I don't like her. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. 
Kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you Kill doing? him and He's kill the bitch. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and one homo parade. This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, man. You're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bitten. Not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing them out now. Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh. Jesus. Oh, oh man. You okay? Yeah, well, just great, thanks. since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. This? You're insane. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now boss. give him those pills. <sighs> Man, 
do not like him, but I'm not gonna kill him just yet. I have no reason to. It's not damaged. And this place didn't get looted. Well, through oh yeah, through the offices, she said. Say. Talk to Clement. Make sure she's fine. Hey there. Hi. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. Man, I'm trying to say stuff, but he's saying everything I want to say. Probably because I'm choosing dialogue stuff that I would choose to do. Energy bar! Let's give that to Clementine. Oop. Here, Clem. Much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Have something to eat. Take care of Clementine. Of course I take care of Clementine. Ah, there we are. Go through the door. I don't care about those two. Oh man, we're way over time here. Uh, I'll just go until uh, it shows a little next save because I don't want to have to redo all this. Oh, that's them outside. Ooh, first aid. First aid kit. Oh no, there's a picture on the floor. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Hey, the dad's just like me. This is a cake. Yes, I use a cane. I have a spinal arthritis that makes walking very painful. Find anything? Oh, hello. 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 It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> well, Can I didn't do it. out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy. And the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of. And look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thank you very much. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Yay! Now I've got her on my side. Now we just need to get rid of the two assholes. Anything else in here? This door leads to the back alley. Papa's cane. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you wouldn't have. My dad gave it to me. See? 
be dead to smart like that. And I want to take that cane with me. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Yay! Be happy. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. She doesn't have any drawers to worry about. I don't think anyone does. Nobody does, I don't think. Like I said, he keeps saying everything I'm thinking in my brain. That my dad does. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Grr, evil face. <laughs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Not anymore. A doctor and my dad is an engineer. Damn, she would have been set for life. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like um, social studies? Yep. Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. You got that first aid kit right there. I'll find you a bandage. That first aid kit. There we go. Let's open that drawer and see what's in there. We've got a remote. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Lee? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, They'll find us. Track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? And yeah, let's, let's fix you up. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. <laughs> Man, they have a lot of the same thinking thing, so it's hard for me to say anything. So far, I like the story. I did, uh... Uh-oh. No! No, 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 no. No? Don't freeze up on me now. Okay, it was saving. Alright, it froze up on me and nothing was happening. And it just went savey save. So that's all I'm going to do for today. Or this episode. I'll talk to y'all later. Das Vidanya. Have a good day. And this has been Sir Durfington.